please remember to share and like the content. If you have not yet subscribed, I'm asking you to subscribe because I want to grow this channel so others can learn as we interact. I want to use this blog to highlight my thoughts on the replacement theory. You might say, what exactly is a replacement theory? But bear with me, I want to go and give an overview regarding a few experiences I had before moving into the concept. So I want to take you back to my high school days. I learned about the desolation of the indigenous people of the Caribbean when the Europeans came. These lessons were taught in a context that the Europeans came to Christianize the West. However, in 2002, I came across a documentary that highlighted a descendant of the Aborigine outlining his predicament. It was really a sad story. However, according to the man, when they came, they created fences and prohibited us from using sections of our own land. The reality is, when the British invaded the land in 1788, there was a massacre of the natives. And if we were to examine or indulge ourselves in examining the history of the desolation of the native Indians in America, it would take another blog and maybe extended blogs. I find it ironic that the replacement theory concept is based on a section of our white population having the belief that they will be eventually overwhelmed. People who associate themselves with this false ideology often align themselves with conspiracy theories about white genocide. Leaders and influencers using this false replacement ideology often use conspiracy theories to influence followers to view immigrants, non-white citizens, as a threat to their community. In 2015, the killing of nine black churchgoers took place. Dylan Roof entered the church and killed these law-abiding citizens. I was moved by this situation and stopped to mark my response.